Now we will tackle the circular ruffle. I've loaded up my circular ruffle base, which consists of a big and small circle. The small circle has a circumference that is approximately equal to the length of the sleeve edge. The small circle is used just as a guide. The large circle will make the ruffle pattern. It needs to be placed on top of the guide. And the bigger the big circle is, the longer the sleeve will be, the folder will be. So first off, we want to add a dart to the middle of this big circle. Here's the dart icon. And just drag it out. And I want to turn off synchronization just so this will go faster. So I'm going to hit Control D, turn that off. And now I'm just going to line up these points. And then I'm going to add points along each of these lines to match up with the points on the small circle guide. Here, 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 and here. Match up this side. And finally this side. And now you just have to move each one of these points to its matching point on the small circle guide. Oops. And this can be a little bit tedious, but not too horrible. You don't really have to worry about being too perfect here. Program will give you a lot of allowance with these circles. I'll try to get it in close. the last one okay then control D and turn back on synchronization now so I'm going to move this and just delete the guide so here's our ruffle okay then I'm going to go over here and place my pattern as best I can around the arm and note that we're going to keep the bright side up we want the normals pointing up here you see uh, the start part is the back side of the pattern so I'm going to keep that down I have to move around here a little bit actually turn on real coordinate gizmo so I can better this to move where I want it to finesse it a little bit to get it where you want it it's probably the most annoying part of this process just want to generally kind of get it there And now I'm going to sew these together. 
I'm going to use the free sewing tool. Okay, in here. And then double click here. And make sure that our particle distance is 20 for the first simulation. And let's simulate. Okay. And we're going to let that settle. And then we're going to turn this up to 5. And make sure this is silk. And then finish simulating. Oh, I forgot one thing here. I want to make sure this is 360, this seam line. Okay. Now you want to notice that the fullness of the circle ruffle is just a little bit different than the straight ruffle. This circle ruffle looks really well on when you want to go around the sleeve at the top or you want to go around necklines with the ruffle. The circle ruffle is a good choice for that. So anyway, there you go. Circle ruffle.